volumes, particularly in used cars, are very strong, and and they are able to to maintain their gross margins on those cars. The big, the biggest challenge that that most dealers have at the moment is just finding stock, finding inventory, because yeah, you know, more people are are buying cars than are selling cars at the moment, and that's putting pressure on on trade-in volumes. Um, yeah, as you mentioned, yeah, private sellers. Uh, people are holding on to cars for longer at the moment, which um, means fewer people are, are selling via, via our, our, our private seller uh, uh, application, um, which is, you know, um, it, it's, not, it's, it's not all bad. Uh, it's, it's, uh, yeah, it, it means that the, the, the trade is buoyant at the moment. Cameron, I understand you're making the case for resilient volumes here, but what's happening when it comes to pricing? I mean, are you seeing any recessionary type behavior among consumers who are perhaps going for a model that would cost less than they would have before this crisis or perhaps opting for a used car rather than someone who previously purchased a new car? Yeah, so what we're seeing, Nancy, uh, probably at the start of the, the, the pandemic in, Mar in March, <clears throat> probably more interest around the bottom end of the market but uh, but today, as I stand here, there's, there's I would say the interest is across the market, so it's in all price brackets at, at the moment, uh, not just not just the bottom end. So it's actually also in the in the top end of the market. The new car market here has has been challenging for for near on 27 months now, and um, but the used car market been has been buoyant. So there's probably continues to be substitution between new and used cars. Okay, and looking at your business in Latin America, I know you have a big operation in Brazil as well. What's happening there? Because the economic toll from COVID just seems to be so harsh there at the moment. Yeah, no, it's pretty similar to, to what we saw here in Australia. So, uh, yeah, March and April were, were probably the low points for, for Brazil. Um, and since then, we, we actually have seen a, a gradual recovery in in, uh, in performance there as dealerships have, have reopened along the way. And, and probably today in July, I, I would say to you there, in many respects, they're, they're almost back to pre-COVID um, uh, levels around some of the operation, operating metrics that we track uh, at the moment. So as much as the infection rates are, are, are high, mm -hmm. um, we are seeing more normalised um, uh, trading activity on the, on the platform that we have there today.